Today we are going to see the PLC Program Logic Control Sorry, Programmable Logic Control So this is a very great one We are going to see in today Programmable Logic Control Device So the how to we make the Program Logic Control Device connections And how the working of Program Logic Control Device So first I am going to explain the why we are going to PLC what the function of PLC uh, before that I is giving some simple workout of manual 2 we replace the PLC now I show you for uh, control for 3 ACs 3 air condition we are going to control by using PLC see here uh, for example if any of shop for big shopping malls we have a 3 air ACs, split ACs. So this is a door. Maybe one or two doors will be available. I show in only one door on here. Uh, in the three ACs will be simultaneously on and off. We need to switch on and switch off. The people are come and out the, through the doors. So based on the people's come and out the instead of shop the temperature will be rising and downy and based on climate also so now we have three ac switch controls on here s1 and s2 and s3 so now we need to switch on switch on based on the temperature of shopping mall see here this person will operate the switches uh, that means the based on the shopping mall temperature to switch on switch off who's who was to is going from in pump to switch on it so one person will be need for instead of shopping mall also so this is a this person giving information to him and he operate the switches based on the information so this is a normal operation of the ACs that means the shopping mall AC so here we are going to replace the two persons and the two person work we need to replace to use the plc how is it possible so here we make the some relay switches that means the relay automatic release to switch and switch up the uh, ACs. so how to this will be operate so we use our PLC. How this is we use to PLC and switch on so chop release. First thing we need to take information from shopping mall. How the information we got? That means we need to install some sensors. That means temperature sensor like that we need to install for inside of shopping mall. After that we got for feedback signal from shopping mall. Then we operate the ACs. That means the AC1 and AC2 and AC3 also. So now I show you how to remove this two person and how to we place the PLC on here. The simple connections and those are the things we are going to see now. Uh, before that we are going to see the PLC. So we we have uh, some languages English, Hindi, Urdu, any of language. So now we are going to inform some language. That means the PLC having some language C, C++ and later logic. So those are the language we need to program the PLC and then PLC will giving a signal to relay circuit that means relay control circuit after that relay and control circuit giving a signal to uh, main conductor the conductors will operate the applications that means AC That means the AC1, AC2, AC3. So after that, the final function will be operated in the inside of shopping mall and in the end. So here too, we take the feedback by using sensor to take feedback from sensor to PLC. So this is for loop will be operate the PLC programming and function. We are not going to see the PLC programming 
programming now we are going to connections and to make the plc for three acs in the shopping mall so first of all i show you some power circuit how do we make power circuit of the three acs so we need to make uh, some mcb that means modded case circuit breaker or miniature circuit breaker any of that you have for single case you need to make a mcb and after that you will see for at the cage production after that we make the olr for overload production after that we make conductor so this conductor will operate by using plc so this is the main conductor so after that we are going to connect the machine that means the ac so this ac will be operated by using the plc so we repeat the three times of this power diagram because of we using here three acs so that's why we need to similar connection we make this one repeat this one so that's one i written here so we are before that we are going to see the uh, simple plc's device for siemens make so how is the terminals and how to connect the terminals so i show you now for a simple plc uh, see here so this is one simple plc for siemens see here in top of plc we have a two axial supply terminals that mean phase and neutral after that this one is 240 voltage after that we have a input signals for y1 to y4 4 signal and that 5 to 8 for feedback signals and then we have a output relays on downside so this is all the relays are output relays see here so this output relays to we operate these switches for some small default programs we need to program for big we use for top port that's top port we use to operate the full programming of plc so next time we see for the plc's programming so these keys are already set default settings we need to use in these keys so this display will be showing the some functionalities of inside of plc so already set this on inputs and now we are going to see the some simple connection of this PLC to use to uh, switch on in the three ACs. Uh, that simple connection we make for some hand and auto. Uh, we use always auto. Suppose we have any maintenance or any problem will be occurred in PLC programming. That time we use for hand of hand. That's why we are providing for hand. So here the simple one i show you the simple loop diagram one here i show you control diagram first one i draw the plc so plc is outputs the q1 q2 and q3 and then in inputs i1 i2 and i3 actually supply we are giving separately no not need no need to show on here so uh, this is for common power supply so we take here this is for control fuse after that we make some hand and then auto so auto function will give you feedback that means one of the feedback signal to inputs and the auto function will be directly operate the conductor k1 and k2 and then k3 so the k1 k2 k3 all uh, machines that means ac1 and c2 and ac3 so this three will be operated by using hand also so we are providing for first one is direct hand and second one is by using selector switches that means if we need for two ACs we need to select the two ACs by manually and three ACs we need to select for three ACs by manually so that's why we are giving selector switch on here after that the hand auto will be connected for inputs of three inputs of here so this 
sorry so this one is connected to here so that one is not a problem and we for simple understanding i show in here so we giving a three inputs auto inputs on here uh, after that we make outputs release to operate the conductors by through the plc so the three outputs will be operate to switch on the output ac see here now we need for three feedback signal so we put the feedback signal on here that means i4 i5 i6 already i showed in plc so this is for temperature sensor temperature control any of that you have in there so we used here so three temperature sensor will be used here that means difference in the areas or any of that so this plc will be switched on based on temperature control signal feedback signal so after that we make some good one that means the which ac will be operated that means the first one is switch on or not and second one is switch on or not that one we need to mention on here so we make a k1 cno connector to switch on some run indication lamp so same like that we make k2 and k3 so this two indication for kc2 and ac3 is indications after that we need for trip signal also so we use olr1 to make a trip that means trip lamp so like that we make three times two for uh, other two ACs also we make some trip signal so this is a complete diagram of plc simple controlling so if you have any doubt please come on here thank you for watching